Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to the History of Everything podcast YouTube channel. Viewer Budget Arcade's comment said, Still need the deets on the Pope's War on Cats. Now, funnily enough, just a few videos ago, this same user's comment was the subject of another video. Which, I mean, I guess that you just ask really good questions then. For anyone watching, make sure to put your questions and things below so that we can turn them into videos. So, did the Pope once declare war on cats? Well, you've probably heard a story that is in a history blog, or some kind of article, or something, and it goes a little something like this. The basic gist of it is that for the longest time, cats enjoyed a rather good reputation in Europe. After all, they were great for agriculture because cats would hunt vermin. They don't eat plants or anything like that, so they would be no threat to the agriculture itself, but instead, they would be awesome at eliminating the vermin that would prey on it. But unfortunately, this relationship was not to last. Because feline-human relations somewhat deteriorated in the early 1230s, that being when Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bull called the Vox in Rama. Now this bull, as the story goes, essentially declares cats as agents of Satan, and that certain cats, black cats in particular, were very Luciferian. This then leads to a massive purge of cats as people go out and start killing them as agents of Satan. Which, apparently, as the story goes, causes the cat population to drop to such a degree that by the time the plague comes around, there aren't really as many cats to be able to keep the vermin population in check, leading to a much worse outbreak of the Black Death. Which is, I guess, a rather simple form of logic. You kill the cats that killed the rats that carried the fleas, you get a lot more rats with fleas. But the thing is, this more than likely is not true, and is simply one of those fun facts that people simply love to tell. The papal bull Vox and Rama does not in fact identify cats as agents of Satan. Rather, it is describing a purported satanic cult and ritual in Germany and authorizing religious and secular authorities to take action against it. And oh boy, are we going to be in for a wild ride, because the description goes a little something like this. The following rites of this sect are carried out. When any novice is to be received among them and enters the sect of the damned for the first time, the shape of a certain frog or toad appears to him. Some kiss this creature on its hind quarters, some on the open mouth. They receive the tongue and saliva of the beast inside their mouths. Sometimes it appears unduly large, and sometimes equivalent to a goose or a duck, and sometimes it even assumes the size of an oven. At length, when the novice has come forward, he is met by a man of wondrous pallor who has black eyes and is so emaciated and thin that since his flesh has been wasted, seems to have remaining only skin drawn over his bones. The novice kisses him, and feels cold like ice, and after the kiss, the memory of the Catholic faith totally disappears from his heart. Afterwards, they sit down to a meal, and when they have arisen from it, the certain statue, which is usually in a sect of this kind, a black cat descends backwards with its tail erect. First the novice, then the master, then each one of the order who are worthy and perfect, kiss the cat on its buttocks. Then each return to his place, speaking certain responses, they incline their heads towards the cat. Forgive us, says the master. And the one next to him repeats this. A third saying, we know master. A fourth says, and we must obey. Which, holy crap, that is indeed a wild ride of a tale. So what is up with that? Well, the certain details of this ritual were reported by a rather overzealous inquisitor by the name of Conrad von Marburg, who used terror and torture to get the information. I mean, you gotta understand, this guy's job was literally to get rid of heretics. Like, that was his whole purpose, was to find and get rid of them. So he had plenty of reason to stoke the Pope's fears about this satanic cult in Germany. And you also have to remember that he used torture and terror. And pretty much anyone will say just about anything when they're under torture. But either way, his accounts absolutely cannot be true. Statues of black cats do not come to life, and you sure as hell cannot make a cat walk backwards with its tail raised so that you can kiss its butthole. Have you ever tried to make a cat do anything before? Nowhere in the Papal Bull does it actually condemn cats as satanic animals, nor does it ever actually call for them to be killed. There is no evidence that this bull, which was issued locally in the area of Mainz, was ever actually something that caused mass killings of cats around Europe. Now mind you, cat killings were a thing in parts of Europe for literally centuries, but that is a whole other wild story right there. But anyway, the Pope's War on Cats is a very popular story that people just love to share in all kinds of articles and history blogs and things like that. So if anyone ever shares one to you, make sure to send them this video. This has been Sakuyi with the History of Everything podcast YouTube channel, and I thank you for watching. Make sure to join Discord and make sure to click the links down in the comments below. You all have a good rest of your day. Bye guys.